Hi everyone, this is Joey here from Women's Night and General Volunteering at the Bike Project. Today I am recording first in a series of bike hacks that you can do at home to maintain your bike. Today I will be focusing on um, rim brake rims and brake pads and cleaning them to increase the longevity of your rim. Most of you have probably seen rims that are very, very worn or possibly have failed, and, and, and by that I mean they've cracked. Um, and this could lead to quite catastrophic accidents, um, which is obviously very, very dangerous. Um, as you're riding on the roads, especially in the English climate during the um, autumn, winter and spring, you're riding a lot of rain, and, and it also happens in dry weather, but you tend to pick up debris from the road, which includes grit, grime, general dirt, um, as well as minute particles and slightly larger particles of metal, which come from vehicles that we share the road with. These become embedded in your brake pad and will scrape away the um, braking surface on your rims over time. Um, so what I tend to do once a week, or sometimes every other week, is um, give the rims a good clean and then clean the braking surface of, of the brake pad, so the bit that, that touches your rim. Um, all you need for this is a cloth. You can see I've cleaned my rims many times. Um, and if you want an extra level of cleanliness, you can use some kind of disc brake cleaner, but it's not necessary. Um, and to do it, start at your valve so that you know you've done a full revolution. Um, and if you're using disc brake cleaner, literally just spray the rim. If you're not, just use your cloth. Um, choose a fairly clean-ish part um, and just start to rub the rim. And you'll see it's actually really dirty and I did this a week ago. Um, so you just wanna do that around your rim until you're happy, until your cloth is coming away clean. That's really horrible. And if you sort of move this around in the sunlight, you can see tiny particles of metal, which I was talking about earlier. So once you've done that and you're happy with the cleanliness of your rim, take your wheel out of your frame so that you can get to your brake pads easily. So make sure you've released your brake, shift down to the smallest cog in the back to make it a little bit easier to get it out. Take your wheel out. Um, and focus on your brake pads. Um, unfortunately, the device which is holding the phone can't get quite close enough to the brake pad, so you won't be able to see exactly what I'm doing. But if you've got an awl or a pick, um, use this to either pick out little bits of metal that you see stuck in and also clean out the little grooves which allow the water and the debris to, well, supposedly to wash away. Um, and once you've done that, Again, go back to your semi-clean cloth and just rub the braking surface. Just to make sure you've got everything off of them. Um, this is also a really good time to check your brake pad wear. So you can see whether you need to change your brake pad soon or in a few months time. And it's also really a, a good time to check your rim wear. Um, so have a feel of your rim and, and a lot of you probably know this should be quite flat so if it starts to feel concave you know that your rim is starting to wear keep an eye on it some rims like this one will have this rim wear indicator and once that goes or once it's flat against that that black line because that black line is actually indented um, then it's definitely time to get a new rim um, another trick you can do is to get a flat ruler and hold it against your rim like that and then you can see how concave your rim has become against the flat edge of the ruler. So this is just a really really simple way to uh, ensure that you are getting the most that you can out of your rims and, and ensuring that you're 
brake pads are still usable and that you have a lot of um, braking power left to be safe on the roads. I uh, hope you enjoyed that and I hope someone's learned something from it. Thanks for watching.